Okay, let's go. So guys, welcome back to iFix Tech. Today we have uh, this uh, X1 Carbon. I believe this is a Gen 6. And as you see, we're missing some keys. And also the top case or the palm press looks uh, really bad. So we're gonna replace the whole thing right now. And on this model, to change the keyboard, you don't only change the keyboard. No, you change the whole top case like this. We have a top case with me right here. And we're going to go ahead and replace the whole thing. So just have in mind that on this one, you change pretty much what we're gonna do is we are going to move everything from this computer to the new top case. Let's start right now. First thing you're going to do is remove the one, two, three, four, five uh, screws that are holding the cover. Using the black stick, you're going to remove the cover try to pry open it from the back from the bent um, antennas and this is how you move the cover and as always make sure you are using your ESD protection so first thing first you will remove the battery for that you have to remove the screws that are holding the battery to remove the battery you are gonna release it from the side that is connected to the motherboard so this is the current computer that we are trying to work on and this is a new top case and keyboard so we're gonna uh, replace pretty much or transfer everything from this one to this one I will start by disconnecting the cable from the motherboard this is a cable for the stylus speakers and subwoofer this will be the keyboard Track pack, CMOS battery. This will be the cable for the camera and the mic, the antennas, and the flex cable for the power button and fingerprint. And this will be the screen cable. Now we can remove the screws for some of the components. audio jack now we can go ahead and remove the screws that are holding the motherboard these are these little black ones and what we're going to do right now is remove the motherboard for that you don't need to remove the fan also you don't need to remove the uh, SSD drive or hard drive you just need to pull the motherboard just like this all right what we're going to do right now is beginning to move components from the old top case or keyboard to the new one in this case let's do the CMOS battery let's remove now the speakers and the subwoofer so a good trip is to start removing a small component so that way those small components you won't forget them later because it's really easy to forget those small components. I will just go ahead and reinstall it on the new one right away so I don't have many small uh, components laying around. Make sure that you properly route the cables. Time to remove the speakers. Okay, we have now uh, placed the speakers on the new top case. Make sure that you properly route the cables so it doesn't give you any troubles later. 
Okay, let's do let's keep doing the smaller stuff. Now we're gonna do the stylus. Let's go ahead and place everything on the new keyboard. Let's keep moving the stuff now. Let's do the trackpad along with the trackpad cable. A good advice is to disconnect the trackpad cable before removing the trackpad itself. To remove the trackpad, you need to remove this four screws be very careful they are normally smaller size be careful not to strip um, the head of these screws or you're gonna have a lot of trouble to remove them after you remove the screws you should be able to just lift the hinge a little bit and you should be able to remove the trackpad you are going to place the trackpad on the new keyboard and just make sure it is aligned. Now you can connect the cable. Now what you can do is just give an inspection, take a look and make sure that anything that you see here that is not here on this new one, you must swap it out. So what we did right now, mostly depending on the what kind of trackpad or keyboard you got, uh, what we did here are the parts that you will mostly will have to remove. Also, now let's move to the power button. This may be a little tricky, just make sure that it's properly aligned and once you finish make sure that you are able to click properly. Anything remaining on the whole top case is a screen. So for that, um, I found very easy if you just flip the screen on an angle in the edge of the deck, just like this, and you will have to remove the six screws that are holding the hinges. I'm sorry, there are no six screws, there are eight screws actually. cable from the guys and you should be able to just oh no we're missing one more screw here if you flip the screw like this you should be able to remove it very easily as you can see this is our old keyboard now it's all alone and most of the components are right here Now that the screen is installed, make sure you route the cables through the case. Okay, after that, now it should be ready to reinstall the motherboard. For that, you're just going to place the motherboard in place and make sure that none of the cables are trapped under it. Be very careful with this flex cable. Again, just make sure there are no cables are trapped under the motherboard. Reinstall the eight um, small screws that holds the motherboard. Now let's connect all the components.
Now it's the time to reinstall the battery. Time to reinstall the base cover. Time of the true. Okay, in order to test, we're gonna press the F10 and that will invoke the Dynox for the ThinkPack. This normally is include or built in the diagnostic system. And we're gonna use the option for K to test the keyboard. We're gonna use the C to confirm and the keyboard will be displayed on the screen. You should be able to test every single key of your keyboard just to confirm that the new keyboard that we just installed is in really good condition. Some of these keys will remain black because um, your keyboard won't have all of them. And this is the result. I really hope this video has given you an idea on how to replace your keyboard on your Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Choga. See you in the next one.